These recent college graduates may look like they're playing a game, but they're actually hard at work learning how to become entrepreneurs. The program is called Venture for America and begins with a five-week boot camp in business basics at Brown University. We're looking for young people that have the commitment and desire and skill level to potentially serve as the leader of a new business uh, in the coming five to ten years. Andrew Yang is the program's founder. He's a Columbia law grad who quit corporate America to fix what he thinks is a fundamental problem. The best and brightest are serving businesses. They're not creating them. You're training people who will create jobs. Yes, that's right. And ultimately, you want to have your fellows create how many jobs? Uh, 100,000 new U.S. jobs by 2025. Mike Mayer is a graduate of the University of Pennsylvania's prestigious Wharton School of Business. He passed up a big payday on Wall Street to become a venture fellow for a fraction of the salary. Everyone thought I was crazy, but then that uh, sentiment turned to uh, jealousy. <laughs> they were like, oh, well, you got out and found something really cool. After the business boot camp, the fellows head to startups for two years in cities not typically magnets for top shelf talent, like Detroit, New Orleans, Las Vegas, and right here in Providence, where venture fellow Avery Hauser has become leader of the branding team at Teespring, a company that helps charities sell custom t-shirts on the web. We had to hire a number of new customer service representatives and I was responsible for training them. Wait, you hired people? Yeah, I, mean, I was involved in the selection and the hiring process. How long from showing up in what sounds like an intern type capacity to hiring people? About a month. About a month? Yeah. <laughs> Bill Caesar is a co-founder of Teespring. We put the fellows to, to work uh, in very critical roles. Uh, a tremendous amount of responsibility, high level of accountability. They're an integral part of our success. Teespring has grown from 11 employees to about 70 in the 11 months Hauser's been there. Though only a startup itself, Venture for America could be in business. Jim Axelrod, CBS News, Providence, Rhode Island.